Welcome back to this beautiful and historic city of St. Petersburg for the 33rd Trampoline Gymnastics World Championships. So the women's trampoline final is about to begin. The top eight in the world are gathered here, about to put in their best performances. Here they are, composing themselves before the final. They have had to be consistent had to make it through the qualification competition, two routines and the semi-finals. And now they need to produce again. All that is behind them. Fresh start, a new routine and the world title up for grabs. The present finalist of the competitions, Miego Uyama from Japan. The introductions, Miego Uyama from Japan, the first of the finalists, Lea Labrousse from France. From Kat Driscoll, Great Britain Kinara finalist. Karu Mori took the gold Lu yesterday Lin in synchro. Lu Ling Ling, such style Yana in her work. Anna Pavlova, the home favourite. She'll be Rosa hoping to get amongst the medals. This is Olympic champion Rosie McLennan and Zhu Xiu Ying from the People's Republic of China. Higher scorer in qualification in the semi-finals. The eight competitors will work in reverse order. Here is the start list. Meko Yuama will begin for Japan and will finish up with Zhu Zhu Ying. Just one routine in the final, 10 elements and the world title will be decided very shortly. This is the leader from qualification with her warm-up. Tall gymnast, stylish competitor. Just the two elements for her one-touch warm-up. It looks like we're nearly ready to start. So here is our first competitor. The first finalist representing Japan, Megu Yoama. A gold medal in the synchro yesterday. Qualified into this final in eighth place. There's one minute in which to begin her exercise once she starts bouncing. Full in, full out to finish in her first world final. A great start from her. She can be pleased with that. What a world championship she's had already. Nice work. They're half in, half out in the pike position. Each element has to be different. in, half out in the tuck position. Was a 
probably a little bit lower difficulty than some of the other finalists. And solid start for her. She'll be happy to get through. She can relax now. Job well done and uh, watch the rest of the final unfold. And the score comes through 54.34. Next to go, Lea Lebrus from France. Twenty one years of age. Oh, a little bit of travel. in the centre now. Well, she started with a little bit of horizontal displacement but brought it back on track. Cleanly through. Trains in on team. Congratulated by the coaches. Sure she'll be watched by her synchro partner, Marie Joubert, placed fourth yesterday out of the double tuck, nice form. Pike in, half turn out. Tuck in, half out. Full in, full out straight. And that was her final element. Tiring work. Lots of effort. And uh, hopefully it was worthwhile. The score comes through 55.085. She moves ahead of Yuama. Next, Next to perform from Great Britain, Kat Driscoll. Hold with the team and Synchro in 2013. Two times world champion. Two trips, the first and the third element. Tidy routine. A full in, full out to finish in the straight position. Good job from Kat Driscoll. So far, this has been an excellent final. 32 years of age. Bronze with the team in Sofia last year. Full in, half out. Double tuck, kicking out of the vertical. Good shape, good form. In, half out. Catry score qualifying in sixth place. On score 55.520. And the score 54.560. She moves into second place. Difficulty score of 14.4. The next finalist is Hikaru Mori, representing Japan. Uh, Visualising her routine, going through the twists in her head before she performs. <laughs> 19 years of age. Gold medalist yesterday.
sure if in the pipe position to start. And a clean routine. Again, possibly not as difficult as some we may see. But well executed. It's called 55.615. To qualify to these finals. Watch out for any travel along the bed. That's what the sensors will pick up. Of course, the flight time or time of flight is all important. And that is added to the execution mark and the difficulty mark. So four components to the score that these finalists will achieve. She can relax now. Her World Championship action is over. What will she be awarded? Score is on its way. 55.510, she moves into the lead. Good job from Hikaru Mori. So there are the current standings. Hikaru Mori leads from Leah LeBruce. Kat Driscoll in third place at the halfway point. Next the next Liu finalist Liu is Liu Ling Ling, representing the People's Republic of China. World champion with the team in 2015 and 2017 a gold in the synchro event back in 2014 but has had no individual titles to her name Well, beautiful shape in the air and clear kick out of each somersault. Take another look at that on the replay, I'm sure. 24 years of age. Here, half turn into pike somersault, half turn out. Full in, half out. Great height. But uh, started very well and perhaps lost a little bit as she progressed through. Be interesting to see what the time of flight is. The highest time of flight and qualification was just under 17 seconds. And the score, 55.585. She takes the lead with a time of flight, 15.885 seconds. Yes, just losing a little bit as she went through. But a great score from her. Leading with three more performances to go. And the cheer goes up for Yana Pavlova from the Russian Federation. Qualified with the highest score from the initial event, third highest qualifier in the semi finals. Twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen World Cup Series winner. I'd love to take an individual medal home. Starts with the pike drift. There's the tuck. Difficult work. Ah, and the 
Camilla to finish. She didn't shy away from the difficulty. Well, they say fortune favours the daring, and she certainly went all out for it there. Including two skills that others don't perform. Full in, Rudy out. Difficult work. Half in, half out in the top position there. And finished with the Miller. This was the double pike. Pike in, half out. And here, one, two, three rotations in the double straight somersault. That was the Miller. Great job from her. She'll be very happy, I'm sure. And the score, 56.405. She takes the lead. And whatever the outcome, she has herself a medal. That's cool, though. So, Jana Pavava leads from Lu Lingling. Hikaru Mori in third place. And next up, two times Olympic champion, Rosie McLennan from Canada. Bronze with the team, silver in the synchro. Can she take home the full set? Got married earlier this year. Consistent performer, let's see now what she has to offer. Starts well. Super routine, excellent job from McLennan. Very high, great difficulty and very little travel. Surely that will challenge. She keeps producing the goods. What an ambassador for the sport. Look at this. Uh, somersault with the Rudy out, the one and a half twist. So high, bags of time to spare. Pike in, half out, keeping the form. Half in, half out in the top position. Great work. Full in, full out. Control right the way through to the end. Yeah. <laughs> and the score 57.18 she takes the lead great job from Rosie McLennan <sighs> so Rosie McLennan leads from Jana Pavlova Liu Ling Ling in third place and we have one gymnast to go she represents the People's Republic of China this is Zhu Xiu Ying Now, will she increase the difficulty from the semi-finals? She has the capability of doing so. She's seen what's gone in front of her. She knows 57.18 is the score to beat. Can she deliver? in the jumps to start. Oh, well, she stopped. That's okay. She's entitled to do that. She can restart. It wasn't quite right to start with. Sometimes it's best to just compose themselves again and begin. There's one minute. No deductions for a restart. So 
and will that affect her confidence? Let's see. And she's off. Well, another astonishing routine. What talent on display we have here at these World Championships. Beautiful work. She had the hesitation at the beginning. She restarted, but it didn't affect her performance at all. Half in, half out in the pike position. Pike in, half out. Full in, full out. That was the close of her routine. Scored 56.975 in qualification. She'll have to improve upon that if she wants to take gold. Little bit of travel. And the score comes in 57.08. She takes the silver medal. So, Rosie McLennan is the new world champion. Xu Xu Ying takes the silver and the Russian Federation a bronze medal for them. And there's Xu Xu Ying. She did increase the difficulty by 0.6. It wasn't quite enough, just a tenth of a mark behind Rosie McLennan in the end. And there, Rosie McLennan being congratulated by the other competitors and the coaches. What a final it was. Rosie McLennan adding the world title now to her Olympic title. Dear ladies, thanks for your jumps and please march out. So their confirmation of the results, Rosie McLennan, the new world champion from Canada. China take the silver in the form of Xu Ying and the Russian Federation will celebrate their bronze medal in the form of Yana Pavlova. Congratulations to all of the finalists. Here are the results. She is such an exceptional gymnast. Rosie McLennan from Canada, crowned world champion to add to her Olympic title. An outstanding performance from her to take gold. And the bronze medal is presented by Miss Natalia Chernova, Trapani world champion. Congratulations to the medals. We now stand for the national anthem of Canada.
Rosie McLennan. She takes a full set of medals away from these championships. Bronze with the team, silver in the synchro, and now the gold world champion in the individual women's trampoline event. Congratulations to all three medalists.